in today's tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating one of the most important things in photography, and that's workflow. I'm going to show you how I import, backup, and organize images using Lightroom. A good file management system is key to a successful workflow. We are going to start off by plugging in our memory card reader with our memory card inside into our computer. Once our memory card pops up, we are going to double click on it and navigate to the images on the card. As you can see right here, these are the images we have. The next thing we're going to do is create a folder on the desktop. We're going to do this by right clicking and going to new folder. The folder structure we're going to be using is year, month, date, followed by the client, project, location, or event name. In this case, the images we are importing are from Barcelona, but for the purpose of today's demonstration, I'm going to pretend they were taken on today's date. So we are going to use today's date for a new folder. Today's date is 2019, December 12th, underscore, Barcelona. Once this folder is created, we are going to double click on that folder, and within this folder, we are going to create two folders. The first folder we are creating is the one that will hold all of our images. This folder is going to be called 0-RAW. The second folder we are going to create will be holding our Lightroom catalog. This folder will be called 1-LR. Now we are going to click on our RAW folder, navigate to our card, Click on an image, press Command A to select all, and then we are going to drag these images into our newly created RAW folder. The next thing we are going to do is create a new Lightroom catalog. We are going to do this by opening up Lightroom. We are going to click Choose a different catalog. We are going to go down to create a new catalog. We are going to navigate to our Lightroom folder that we created on our desktop called 1-LR. We are going to call this Lightroom catalog Barcelona. Once we have created our new catalog, we are going to go to the bottom left of the screen and click Import. Once the import dialog appears, you'll notice that up here it's currently selected that it's importing images from our card reader. We want to change this and we want to make sure that it's importing images from the desktop. We are going to click here and we are going to go down to Other Source, navigate to Desktop, Barcelona, and click on the raw folder that is holding all of our images. And we are going to select Choose. As you can see, all of our images are in here, and they are sourced from the Barcelona folder that is on the desktop. Now navigate to the right corner, and under Build Previews, we are going to select 1 to 1. When selecting 1 to 1, Lightroom will render Previews, Standard Previews, and Thumbnail Previews all at the same time. After we have selected Build 1 to 1, we will go to the bottom right and select Import. When building one-to-one -one previews, you are speeding up your workflow because you are able to look at your images at 100%, which enables you to check for sharpness, focus, etc. Once your images have imported and rendered, what we are going to do now is minimize Lightroom and go back to the desktop. Now I will show you an example of how I use a color coding system to organize my workflow and keep track of progress on projects. So what I'm going to do is since these are new images that I have not looked at yet, I have not sorted them, I have not color corrected them, I'm going to mark this folder the color red. The color yellow would represent a project that is currently being worked on and the color green would be a project that is finished. 
The next and arguably most important thing we are going to do as a photographer is to back up your files. If you are a hobbyist, aspiring professional, working professional, regardless of the level of photography, it is an absolute must to back up your files. So now what I want to do is back up these files to my portable working drive. This just ensures that I have a second copy, so while I am working on these, in case anything would happen to the files, I have that second copy on my portable drive. So I'm going to plug in the hard drive. We are going to double click on the hard drive called Travel. So within this, what I want to do is when we are starting out our year, that we organize it from the beginning. So I'm going to create a folder called Photography. And within this folder, we are going to break it down by year. Since this is the first year we are starting, we will start with 2019. And now we will take the Barcelona folder from our desktop and drag it into our 2019 folder on our portable hard drive. You can use the hard drive type of your preference. For long-term storage, I recommend a stationary hard drive. I am only using this portable as my temporary working backup. Once we have transferred our files, now we can safely begin working on a project. We are going to open Lightroom again. So now when looking at our catalog, the most important thing is that we look through every image and check for sharpness of focus. Since we have rendered one-to-one -one previews, we are now able to look at each image at 100%. I like to tab through and check every image for focus. In my next video, I will be discussing how I sort, label, and color correct images in Lightroom. I hope you found this workflow video informative and helpful. If you have any questions regarding the topic of this video, feel free to send a comment or shoot over an email. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you for watching and for your support.